welcome to Tea Time with Maya. I'm Maya and today we are going to be making a tea blend um, with orange, orange the fruit, and then orange peels. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Did it fall? No. And two, um, I don't know. Sprigs. Sprigs of rosemary. Yeah. Um, these are from our garden, but you can get sprigs of rosemary from any commercial grocery store. They sell them in little uh, pallets type things. Um, the orange peel was shaved from the oranges, which also you can get from the grocery store. Um, so this is going to be um, an immuno, immune booster tea. So, so for those that don't know, um, Oranges are really high in vitamin C, which helps fight the common cold and it helps uh, prevent you from getting um, sick because um, vitamin C, it helps with a lot of, uh, well, it helps with digestion and it helps with the respiratory system. So it helps prevent you from getting sick during this time of the weather. Um, rosemary is an immune booster. It helps with blood circulation and, act and it also acts as an expectorant. Um, which means it helps clear the respiratory system, allowing it to breathe, and it helps fight cold, co common cold, flu, <laughs> and uh, fever symptoms. It also can fight uh, respiratory infections because of its antiseptic properties, and it can help get rid of um, intense asthma symptoms because it's also antispasmatic. So that's what we're going to use for these winter tea. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that now. Okay guys, so this is the Satus. No one, no one said it's wrong. Okay, this is the Satus and this is exactly two oranges. So I'm just going to add these first because they're heavy and they float to the bottom. Okay, no they don't. They kind of do, they kind of do, yeah, totally. This is about maybe three and a half cups of water. I made a lot because it also smells amazing, so it can also be used as kind of a diffuser for your house. Um, I separated the skin from the orange so that I can use this later by sealing it in a jar and putting it in the freezer. This is going to be our tea. I'm going to let it boil on the stove until it reaches a roaring boil, and then I'm going to turn it off and let it steep to 5 to 10 minutes. Okay guys, so we have our finished product. It is a regular, like a, a tea color, but it has a slight fogginess, which is probably from the orange uh, pieces, the orange juice. Um, and so we have our tasty tester cup from the freezer. It's very strong. Uh <laughs> <laughs> It tastes strongly like oranges. Like it tastes like a punch of orange. Um, I'm not joking. Um, it's very strong. It kind of took it kind of took out the rosemary. Um, so if you want to know how to make some orange tea, this is apparently how you do it. Maybe if I drink it hot, you can taste the rosemary. You can smell the rosemary, but you're tasting orange. So it's a it's a nice flavor. Uh, it's very strong um <laughs> so i hope you guys try it um it's really enjoy it's really good it doesn't taste like orange juice it more tastes like something completely different but it has that citrusy taste and it has a citrusy aftertaste which is it's pretty good um so i think you guys should try it <laughs> i hope you guys like this video please like share subscribe and press the bell for notifications bye guys